Do you think revealing everything makes you more authentic? Think again. In the explosive world of Stoicism, keeping secrets is not just power, it's a revolution against the norm. In minutes, you'll discover how to turn your vulnerabilities into unshakable strengths. Surprisingly, it's what you don't share that redefines your life journey. I challenge you to dive into this journey and unlock the true wisdom hidden in your silence. Are you ready to experience a radical shift in how you see life, power, and authenticity? Watch this video until the end and uncover the secrets true Stoics never reveal, and why you shouldn't either. Your transformation starts now. Subscribe, hit like, and brace yourself for a journey that goes far beyond your expectations. Number 1. Your Future Plans – Discretion as a Stoic Virtue at the heart of Stoicism lies the understanding that life is unpredictable and that the future, with all its unknowns, should be approached with a mix of prudence and acceptance. This philosophy guides the Stoic to embrace the uncertainty of tomorrow, keeping their future plans close to their chest. It is an exercise in moderation and humility, a constant reminder that, despite our best efforts, we cannot control all the variables of existence. Seneca, one of the most celebrated Stoic philosophers, elegantly expresses this idea by saying, the future is fluid, inconstant. What will be will be different perhaps from what we think it will be. This quote encapsulates the essence of the Stoic mindset towards the future, a willingness to adapt, to acknowledge the fluidity of life, and to not overly attach to plans that may change with the ever-changing flow of time. Thus, keeping your future plans private is not just an act of self-preservation, but also an expression of wisdom. It means being prepared for life's twists and turns, accepting that what seems certain today may be irrelevant tomorrow. In the Stoic view, this approach is not pessimistic, but realistic a way to stay grounded in the present while flexibly and mentally preparing for what is to come. The practice of keeping your plans to yourself is also an invitation for internal reflection. Instead of seeking external validation or advice, the Stoic turns inward to their own discernment and strength of character. In this silence and contemplation, true answers are found born from introspection and self-awareness. Therefore, by following the path of Stoicism, one learns to navigate life's uncertainties with a serenity and resilience that come not from blind confidence in the future, but from a deep understanding of the impermanent and unpredictable nature of existence. Keep your future plans private, and you will embrace one of the most powerful principles of Stoicism, the acceptance of uncertainty as the only certainty. Number two, your personal limitations, the value of silent acknowledgement in Stoicism. Stoic wisdom teaches the importance of self-knowledge and authenticity, but also emphasizes prudence in keeping certain aspects of life private. Among these are personal limitations. Stoic self-perception is not just a journey of self-discovery, but also of self-restraint. Recognizing one's weaknesses, limitations, and flaws is crucial for personal and spiritual growth. But the Stoic understands that such acknowledgements should be an internal dialogue, not a public announcement. Epictetus, a prominent figure in Stoicism, offers wise and straightforward advice. Don't explain your philosophy. Embody it. This teaching is particularly relevant when dealing with personal limitations. The idea is not to deny or hide these weaknesses from oneself, but rather to refrain from proclaiming them to others. The focus is on living Stoic philosophy through actions and choices, not through words or declarations. This approach has several advantages. Firstly, by keeping your limitations private, you avoid becoming vulnerable to external judgments that may not be constructive. Secondly, 
It allows you to work on your weaknesses discreetly and focusedly, turning them into strengths without the pressure or expectations of others. Thirdly, by not broadcasting your limitations, you align with the stoic notion that true wisdom and strength come from within, not from external validation or recognition. The stoic practice of silently acknowledging personal limitations is also an exercise in humility and authenticity. It's a recognition that we are all works in progress, each struggling with our own internal battles, seeking to improve day by day. Stoic philosophy encourages us to accept our flaws, not as an end, but as a starting point for personal growth and self-transformation. Therefore, by embracing your personal limitations in a private and introspective manner, you not only honor the stoic principle of living the philosophy, but also empower yourself to grow and evolve in a more authentic and meaningful way. It's a path of silent acknowledgement leading to deeper, more enduring personal development. Number three, your challenges and struggles, the silent strength at the heart of Stoicism. On the Stoic path, challenges and struggles are seen as essential opportunities for growth and character strengthening. Stoics confront their adversities not with fanfare or complaint, but with a silent and resolute commitment to overcome. This approach reflects a profound understanding that life, at its core, is a series of obstacles to be faced and surmounted. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher-emperor and one of the most admired Stoic practitioners, offers timeless advice. Approach each task as if it were your last, with no rebellion, no despair. This quote captures the essence of the Stoic attitude toward challenges. Approaching each task as if it were the last is not an invitation to fatalism, but a reminder to tackle each difficulty with complete dedication and presence, as if each action were a testament to your character and values. This philosophy does not suggest that one should suffer in silence or deny the existence of problems. On the contrary, it is an invitation to embrace difficulties with an attitude of calm determination and inner resilience. The Stoic understands that lamenting or rebelling against life's challenges is futile and counterproductive. Instead, they seek practical solutions and maintain a balanced mental attitude independent of external circumstances. Keeping your struggles private is also an act of self-control and dignity. Instead of seeking external sympathy or consolation, the Stoic turns to inner strength, seeking within themselves the courage and wisdom to overcome adversity. This approach fosters an inner strength that is immune to the vicissitudes of external life. Furthermore, by facing challenges in silence, the Stoic cultivates a contagious serenity. This attitude can inspire and positively influence those around, demonstrating that it is possible to face difficulties with grace and strength without succumbing to despair or negativity. In summary, keeping your struggles and challenges private is a manifestation of stoic wisdom that teaches us to approach life with equanimity and inner strength. It is a reminder that, despite the storms we may encounter, we possess within ourselves the ability to navigate these turbulent waters with calm and determination, emerging not only intact but strengthened and refined by the process. Number four, your acts of charity. Discretion as an expression of true generosity in Stoicism. Stoic philosophy promotes a view of generosity and charity that is deeply introspective and discreet. For the Stoic, true generosity does not seek applause or recognition. It manifests in silent actions, done not for the world's praise, but for the sake of goodness itself. This approach underscores the idea that the value of an act of kindness lies in its pure intention, not in the admiration it may elicit. Seneca, 
one of the most prominent Stoic philosophers, captures the essence of this view by stating, True generosity is doing something good for someone who will never find out. This maxim reflects the Stoic belief that the most authentic generosity is practiced in secret, without any expectation of reward or recognition. In this context, the act of giving is an end in itself, a pure expression of human empathy and kindness. Discretion in acts of charity is also a practice of humility. The Stoic understands that announcing their good deeds can easily turn an altruistic gesture into a quest for validation or social status. By keeping their acts of charity private, they preserve the purity of the act, ensuring that the motivation behind the action remains genuine and unaffected by external influence. Furthermore, this approach promotes a deeper impact on both the giver and the receiver. For the giver, the act of charity becomes an opportunity for reflection and personal growth, a chance to practice selfless kindness and strengthen character. For the receiver, help received anonymously can be a source of inspiration and a powerful reminder of unexpected and selfless kindness in the world. In Stoicism, therefore, keeping your acts of charity private is not just an act of discretion, but a profound expression of understanding and empathy. It is to recognize that true generosity resides not in the visibility of the gesture, but in the silent and transformative impact it can have on the lives of others. By embracing this form of generosity, the Stoic lives one of the highest human virtues, enriching not only the lives of those they help, but also their own. Number five, your spiritual or philosophical practices, the silent inner journey of Stoicism. At the heart of Stoicism lies the belief that true wisdom and spiritual or philosophical progress are fundamentally internal journeys carried out in silence and introspection. For Stoics, Practicing their beliefs is not a matter of external displays or proclamations, but rather an intimate and personal process of self-discovery and continuous improvement. Epictetus, one of the most influential Stoic philosophers, encapsulates this essence with his insightful observation, progress is silent. This phrase resonates with the idea that true spiritual and philosophical development happens away from the eyes of the world, in the depths of one's inner being. It is a silent process, marked not by grand gestures or declarations, but by a constant and often imperceptible evolution of character and understanding. This approach to spiritual and philosophical practices emphasizes the importance of authenticity and personal reflection. For the Stoic, the goal is not to convince others of their beliefs or achieve external recognition for their practices, but rather to cultivate a deeper understanding and a more sincere application of their principles in daily life. By keeping their spiritual and philosophical practices a private matter, the Stoic also avoids the risk of hypocrisy. They recognize that it is easy to fall into the trap of preaching virtues that one does not practice. By keeping their beliefs and practices a personal matter, they ensure that the focus remains on living according to these principles rather than merely talking about them. Furthermore, this silent approach allows for greater flexibility and personal adaptation of practices. Without the pressure to conform to others' expectations or interpretations, the Stoic can explore and tailor their spirituality and philosophy in a way that is more meaningful and beneficial to their own life path. Therefore, by embracing a silent spiritual or philosophical journey, the Stoic not only follows the teachings of Epictetus, but also engages in a more genuine and effective process of personal growth. They understand that true and lasting progress in any sphere of life is often an internal, quiet and constant process where the greatest victories are those won within oneself. 
and don't forget to take this opportunity to engage in the comments, leaving something of value that might help someone else who is going through something you've already experienced. Also, consider subscribing to support our work. Number six, your financial hardships, facing economic challenges with stoic resilience. In Stoicism, financial difficulties are not seen as a stigma or a source of shame, but as challenges to be overcome with dignity and inner resilience. This Stoic perspective on economic adversity is deeply rooted in the idea that a person's true worth and wealth do not reside in their material possessions, but in their character and virtue. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most renowned Roman emperors and a devout practitioner of Stoicism, offers a powerful reflection on this matter. It is not wealth that is lacking to you, but virtue. This statement reflects the Stoic belief that financial hardships, no matter how challenging, provide an opportunity to cultivate virtues such as patience, resilience, and wisdom. For the Stoic, true enrichment comes from the development of these inner qualities, not from the accumulation of external wealth. By keeping their financial hardships private, the Stoic practices self-sufficiency and strength of character. They see each economic challenge as an opportunity to exercise self-control, creativity in problem-solving, and the ability to maintain serenity despite adverse circumstances. This approach does not deny the reality or difficulty of the situation, but offers a way to face it that strengthens the spirit and character. Furthermore, when dealing with financial difficulties in silence, the Stoic avoids falling into the trap of victimhood or seeking sympathy. Instead, they focus on finding practical and realistic solutions while maintaining a positive and proactive attitude. This allows them to preserve their dignity and independence, essential elements in Stoic philosophy. The Stoic approach to financial hardships also includes an acceptance of the impermanence and mutable nature of fortune. Instead of dwelling on what has been lost or what is lacking, Stoics focus on what they can control, their reactions, decisions, and attitudes toward the situation. They understand that true wealth is internal and that by cultivating virtues such as wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation, they can face any challenge with equanimity and strength. Therefore, when facing financial difficulties with a stoic perspective, one not only overcomes economic challenges, but also engages in profound personal growth. Adversities become a fertile ground for the development of virtues and the realization that true wealth resides in character and soul. Number seven, your personal conflicts. Internal resolution as stoic strength. In Stoicism, personal conflicts are seen as opportunities to practice virtues such as patience, understanding, and self-control. Instead of rushing into emotional reactions or seeking external solutions, Stoics turn inward, seeking conflict resolution in an internal and reflective manner. This approach is inspired by the advice of Seneca, one of the most influential Stoic philosophers. The best remedy for anger is delay. This maxim suggests that instead of reacting immediately to a conflict with intense emotions, one should take a step back, allowing time for reflection and perspective. By postponing the reaction to a conflict, Stoics gain time to calmly and rationally assess the situation. This does not mean suppressing or ignoring emotions, but rather understanding them and managing them effectively. This approach allows for a deeper analysis of the causes of the conflict and one's own emotional reactions, leading to more thoughtful and constructive solutions. Keeping personal conflicts private is also an expression of dignity and respect, both for oneself and for others involved. By avoiding discussing these issues in public forums or seeking sympathy from third parties, 
Stoics demonstrate a commitment to resolving problems in a mature and responsible manner. They recognize that true progress and understanding come from an internal effort to understand and resolve differences, not from external validation or intervention. Furthermore, this stoic approach to personal conflicts promotes the development of valuable interpersonal skills such as empathy, active listening and non-violent communication. By focusing on internal resolution, Stoics learn to approach others with understanding and respect, even in situations of disagreement or tension. In summary, when facing personal conflicts with the Stoic perspective and practices, not only do we find more harmonious and effective solutions, but we also cultivate a set of skills and attitudes that enrich all areas of life. The Stoic approach to personal conflicts based on internal reflection, patience and self-control is a powerful tool for personal growth and for building stronger and more meaningful relationships. If you're enjoying this, don't miss the opportunity. Get your ebook now, Stoicism in the 21st Century, Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges, and unlock your prosperity, abundance, and improve your relationships with this ebook. Link in the pinned comment. Number eight, your most intimate thoughts, safeguarding the mind in Stoicism. Within Stoic practice, great emphasis is placed on controlling and disciplining one's own thoughts. The mind is viewed as an inner sanctuary where reflections and ideas that shape our reality are cultivated. As taught by Marcus Aurelius, one of the most prominent Roman emperors and Stoic philosophers, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This thought reflects the Stoic belief that true power and true freedom reside in the ability to control and direct one's own thoughts. Keeping your most intimate thoughts private is a way to protect this sacred inner space. By not indiscriminately sharing your deepest reflections, the Stoic preserves the purity and authenticity of their intellectual and spiritual journey. This practice is not about hiding or suppressing thoughts, but about recognizing the value and power they possess and choosing wisely when and how to share them. This approach has multiple benefits. Firstly, it allows the Stoic to develop their ideas and convictions more fully and without external influence. In a world where opinions are often shaped by social pressures or the pursuit of approval, keeping intimate thoughts private is an act of intellectual and emotional autonomy. Furthermore, by controlling the disclosure of their most intimate thoughts, the Stoic practices mental discipline. They learn to discern between thoughts that are constructive and those that are harmful or irrelevant. This practice leads to greater mental clarity and enhanced focus, significantly contributing to personal well-being and effectiveness in actions. Another important aspect is the promotion of inner peace. By filtering what they share and what they keep private, Stoics avoid unnecessary conflicts and maintain internal harmony. They recognize that not all thoughts need to be expressed externally, especially those that may be misunderstood or do not contribute to the common good. In summary, the Stoic practice of keeping the most intimate thoughts private is an exercise in self-control, wisdom, and discernment. It is a way to honor oneself and others, ensuring that the mind remains a place of deep reflection, growth, and serenity. As Marcus Aurelius wisely and elegantly put it, the quality of our thoughts determines the quality of our lives. By protecting and nurturing these thoughts with care, Stoics tread a path of true happiness and fulfillment. Number nine, your critiques of others, practicing constructive silence in Stoicism. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of maintaining balance and a posture of respect in interactions with others, especially when it comes to criticism. Stoic teaching suggests that instead of rushing to criticize or judge others, it is more beneficial to focus on one's own growth and development. This approach is encapsulated by the perspective of Epictetus, 
one of the most influential Stoic philosophers, who advised, if you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. This advice implies that instead of pointing out the mistakes of others, it is more fruitful to acknowledge that one's own journey of learning and growth can be filled with failures and challenges. By avoiding unnecessary criticisms of others, Stoics practice the virtue of temperance and promote social harmony. They recognize that speaking ill of others not only harms interpersonal relationships, but also diverts attention from the internal work necessary for self-improvement. By keeping their criticisms private, they avoid creating unnecessary conflicts and focus their energies on areas where they can effectively make a positive difference in their own lives. This approach does not mean that Stoics ignore the errors or harmful behaviors of others. Instead, they choose to address such situations constructively when necessary and always with the goal of promoting understanding and improvement both for themselves and for others. This stance reflects a deep respect for human dignity and a commitment to building relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. Furthermore, the stoic practice of withholding criticisms encourages internal reflection and self-development. By focusing on their own areas of growth, instead of pointing out others' flaws, Stoics cultivate greater self-awareness and the ability to self-assess honestly and constructively. This leads to continuous improvement and greater personal integrity. In summary, by following Epictetus' advice and avoiding unnecessary criticisms of others, Stoics practice a form of wisdom that benefits not only themselves, but also the people around them. This approach promotes an environment of respect, understanding and mutual growth, in which everyone is encouraged to focus on personal enhancement rather than on the censure of others. It is a path of tolerance, self-development and respect that reflects the core of Stoic ethics. Number 10. Your acts of personal heroism, modesty and courage according to Stoicism. Within Stoic philosophy, acts of heroism and courage are viewed not as opportunities for seeking recognition or glory, but as genuine expressions of character and personal integrity. This perspective is faithfully reflected in the wisdom of Seneca, one of the most prominent Stoic philosophers, who said, Our life is what our thoughts make it. This quote underscores the idea that truly heroic actions are those born of internal conviction, shaped by our values and thoughts, rather than by the pursuit of external approval. By performing acts of courage without the intention of publicity or recognition, Stoics practice the virtue of modesty. They understand that the value of a heroic act lies in its purpose and the sincerity with which it is carried out, not in the praise or admiration it may generate. This approach ensures that acts of heroism are performed for the sake of goodness itself, staying true to the Stoic principle of acting with righteousness and authenticity. Keeping acts of personal heroism private also reflects a deep understanding that true heroism is often silent and discreet. It is not only the grand actions that define a hero, but also the small acts of daily courage, such as persevering in the face of adversity, maintaining integrity under pressure, and the ability to offer kindness and compassion without expecting reward. Furthermore, by avoiding self-promotion of their courageous actions, Stoics cultivate a form of humility that is essential for personal and spiritual growth. They recognize that each person faces their own battles and that true heroism often lies in the ability to confront these challenges with resilience and strength of character. In essence, by practicing heroism with discretion and modesty, Stoics live in accordance with the idea that the quality of our lives is determined by the quality of our thoughts and actions.
by performing heroic acts not for praise but for the sake of goodness itself, they demonstrate a commitment to stoic values of virtue, integrity and self-improvement. This is true stoic heroism, a heroism that is lived, not announced. This video is an invitation to the inner journey, to strengthening the self in the face of adversity. Each sentence is a reminder that power resides within us, in how we face life while maintaining our dignity and strength in silence. By adopting these practices, you will not only become a true Stoic, but also find deep and unshakable peace, even in life's storms. The Stoic journey is solitary, but the path is rich in wisdom and self-mastery. Join us, subscribe, leave your like, and don't forget to share the aspect of this video that impacted you the most. May you all be with the Creator.